Bitch of Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Ba -da -ba 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 -da. Hello, people. Welcome to Future Friday Plus. You know, you can get lost though. They live at home. You can indeed, yes. Good. We, did, we tried it today. Ooh! What happened? Oh, one of the gems fell into oh. my lap. You can get but it. But for a second there, I thought it was like a spider or something. Yeah. Like some type of bug. Oh, dude, that's the worst feeling when you wake up in the morning and it's like a fluff in your face. And it's literally your own hair. <laughs> and you feel like... I got out of Like you got a scorpion crawling down my face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to die. Literally, it's horrible. But yeah, yeah, you can get lobster delivered home. And it's actually not expensive at all. And it's wonderful. Yes. It's good. Like It was good quality lobster. This video is not sponsored by any... <laughs> actually, this <laughs> video is sponsored by my own fucking bank account. <laughs> <laughs> so press the like and, 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 and subscribe because it helps. <laughs> we that, that actually have be never such an... seen that. We've never done that before. Done what? Say people do like and subscribe. Oh yeah, never, never, never. <laughs> but actually, this it's video is sponsored time. by you guys. To some extent. This video is sponsored by you. Yeah. Anyways. We, we would like to take a second to thank for all the sponsors of this video. You. <laughs> I have so much hair, bro. <laughs> anyway. So this, um, we thought. Oh, werewolf. It will be time to, I think things have s s simmered, simmered down. And everyone has, has had time to think <clears throat> and reflect. And also things have developed. I thought it was time to speak about the Grammys. Yes. And uh, it would have been smarter to do it sooner, obviously. But. I like to I think. think I needed, yeah, I think I needed it to like process the whole situation a little bit better too. And it also puts it into perspective, like yes. things will carry on. It It's not the end of the world. It's important. It certainly is. But it's, you know, things will improve as time goes on. Um, and kind of like it puts a more positive side to it, you know, because I, I totally there's enough negativity it. fucking going around. So. I know. I think, I think I, we're doing it at the right time, I think. So uh, let, let's talk about uh, some of the winners. Oh uh, yeah, sure. And they obviously would talk about BTS, but I want to actually see the, the, the winner's list. Yeah, I actually... So don't watch it. Uh, yeah, I abstained myself from watching it and everything. I just wanted to, like, uh, see what would happen this year and then well, search it up on myself after. Especially with the channel, right? Like, now it's even harder to watch award shows. Not that I ever did. Oh, but I always never. did. I always did, yeah. I was an avid watcher of I've, award I've shows. never really cared. I've never really watched... And if they win, happy for them, good for them. Meh, you know? Fair enough. But especially this year, what I used to watch is um, sometimes you see the viral performances, like you yeah, check yeah, them out yeah. and stuff. But this year, we had to stand from it because we obviously wanted to check them out on the channel. Now, it's been rather difficult to check them out on the channel because of copyright. Yes. Um, and we've so we abstained for nothing. Yeah. Basically. It was a bit unfortunate. But yeah. uh, I have seen now like the... the, the Dua Lipa whap. was what, fantastic. The Cardi B, Megan D that stirred a lot of uh, controversy. Not that that video alone didn't have a lot of uh, controversy, sorry. Yeah. Um, but it, it, yeah, so... It's really cool. The live version, and, I'd imagine, would have been more crazy when you first watched and, it. And then you also... Harry Styles was also pretty good. Well, he won, didn't he? Yes. Well, I don't know. I, I, I think he did. Okay. I saw the news for that one. Amazing balls. So here are the winners for record of the year. The nominees were Black Parade, Beyonce, Colors, Black, Black Pumas, Father, yes. Yes. Father, yeah, put it, Go put it up. Go to a Black Pum Yeah, yeah, so people can see with us. Yes. Cool. Father's a big fan of Black Pumas. Black Pumas rock, dude. They're funk. They're some of the best uh, compos band, they? compositions are brilliant. They're really amazing. And they've been out for a while, bro. They've been in the game for a really long time. And I think it's amazing. They're, they're just top tier musicians. They're mad. And uh, their vocalists are mad. I freaking love them. Yes, they're great. Colors. Oh, sorry, that's Black Pumas. Rockstar, yeah. The Baby, Roddy Rich, uh, Say So. Say So, Doja Cat. Cat. Oh my God, that's pretty cool. Uh, Don't Stop Now. Dua Lipa. Circles. Post Malone. And Savage, Megan Thee Stallion, featuring Beyonce. But one of, probably one of the biggest like surprise features, right? Literally. <coughs> and um, the winner was... Billie Eilish. Everything, everything I, wanted. I Wanted. I don't want to do it like that, because everyone's watched it, right? What? I don't know if they have watched it. I want to see. I've, I haven't read this. Rumor has it, this was the lowest watched uh, Grammys ever. Oh, wow. Well, so maybe not many people. I mean, I didn't watch it. Well, there you go. I want, Actually, that's a good question. I wonder how many people actually watched it. Did you tune in? Did you watch it live? What happened? Yeah. Apparently, the, the speeches were really cut short because everybody was in like different, like in their own homes and like through the, Yeah, they cameras. had to do it through Zoom and yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what they used. Yeah, it, it, was, a, it was a weird dynamic. Oh, album of the year. That's a album big one. Album of the year. That's interesting. So you look, Black Pumas Deluxe in their in their Black Pumas album was... Uh, so we have Jenna Aiko with Chilumbo. I've, I haven't heard that actually. 
Yeah. Black Pumas Deluxe, Black Pumas, Everyday Life, Coldplay, that's awesome. Go cool, cool. I really like that album. That's a good album. Jesse Volume 3, Jacob Collier. Yes, I Women. freaking I love. I like the fact that he's got a Patreon and yes. uh, he sort of uh, does like a... Breakdowns, like tutorials. No, no. I don't know if he does that. What I know he does is... He, oh, I thought he did. He has like Zoom calls with his fans. Oh, that is so yeah. cool. And they can ask him questions and stuff. He does it a month, a month, every month. Ah, oh, that is amazing. Jacob Collier is the coolest dude ever. He seems very chilled. He's he is very so smart. chill. He's so grounded. He's so simple in his like lifestyle. But he is such a clever music maker guy. Like his music in his head is like what? Then women yeah. in music. Uh, future. Uh, but Taylor Swift won with folklore. Yeah. Uh, I didn't. Hey man. Sorry. I didn't know the other nominations. Ah, oh, sorry, okay. Hollywood's Bleeding, Post Malone and Future Nostalgia to Alipa. Great to see her get the nomination, actually, even though the album got leaked and all that stuff. Yeah, but actually, it's... Ha- heartbreaking for her, obviously. I mean, what the fuck is that is, tor- that is torture. That's horrible, because literally, you know how much work goes into making an album. And then for a little... Calm yourself. Somebody to take advantage of that situation. It's just really... Well, we don't, no one actually knows what happened. I haven't seen many people speak about it. Like, how did it actually leak? How do leaks happen? That's a question, right? You know, so... Yes. Anyway, Song of the Year, Black Parade, uh, Brittany. Oh, that's, that's who was involved. The Box. Damn, yeah, The Box. Oh such an, you know, hit. Cardigan. Cardigan. With, uh, Taylor, with Taylor Swift. Swift. Circles, obviously, Pose Malone. Yes. Don't Start Now, Dua Lipa, Everything I Wanted. Uh, Billie Eilish, I Can't Breathe. Oh, which was hers. Uh... Song. Her, yeah, this her. was during the 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 BLM yeah, movement. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a good song, actually. Such a good song. If the world was ending, if the world was ending, you come over, right? <laughs> uh, then uh, best and new it's artist. Julie Michaels. I didn't know it was Julie Michaels. That's pretty cool. See, but, I saw all these songs. I've heard. I've heard that one. If the if the world was ending. Oh, it became super trendy on TikTok. That's why I haven't heard it. <laughs> Nothing. To, I'm not saying it's not good. I'm just saying like, I'm not on TikTok. I'm really glad her won the the uh, the nomination there because uh, they won the award there because her I like her too I like her stuff I I, I think her musicality is dope uh, she she's got she's a, a good really musician cool. and I you know that that Filipino influence in in her music is dope I like her I think she's awesome oh yeah the Philippines was really, mm, really happy yeah I think uh, I think she's amazing I'm glad for that because she also murdered that performance of uh, the Super Bowl yeah she murders well, everything she that she does. Times. Yeah, she murders it. Like, I didn't know that her first ever big performance was when she was, like, eight in, like, Good Morning America or something like that. And she's, like, singing Alicia Keys. Oh, you know what we should do? It's, like, on TV. Maybe not Good Morning America. I don't remember You know what, what we should do? Say the winner and then who you think should have been the winner. Not who... You, it also... They couldn't have... They, they don't have to be nominated. Ah, okay. I see that. I like yeah. that. Okay, I so, like that. So, best new artist, I think, for me, would have been Giveon. Oh, okay, that, yes. That, uh, absolutely. Uh, like, from the... The thing is, I have so many... Now that I'm sort of learning of industries... Best it's new artist. too tough. Hold on. What do you think? I'm going to say, like, each industry that I think... Could have taken that. Yeah, so... Okay. Give you on from America. Yes. And that's it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I have... Because I can't think right now who else came out last year. Oh, uh, me neither. I don't, I don't know who, but... I like Tabber from Korea. Tabber. But is he actually like new? Yes. Like new, new. Like because he just signed with Dean's label. Right? Yeah. And uh. then there's this other new guy who signed. Who signed? I think. Gemini. He's... Yes. <laughs> Did you know? I've been obsessed with that. He's class. <laughs> he's amazing. So yeah, from Korea, those two. I think they could have taken that for me. But I think but it in al- my in my hearts awards. <laughs> it also matters. But I think it also matters with like new, new, like like numbers big, as yeah, well. Yeah, right? yeah. How big they are. I think Give You could have won. I think, think so. he could have gotten a nomination. I think he could have done. What yeah, year he's, he's had? Yeah. He's, he's had a Drake, really good year. One EP. Yes. Album. Yes. Justin Bieber collab. Well, that's the, the literally that, that's yesterday. The, yeah, that doesn't count. <laughs> but but um, yeah, I don't know. I think. Anyways. Yeah. Well, let's see, because I don't even know who. Ingrid who's Andrus, new. Phoebe Bridges, Chica. Never heard of her. Noah Cyrus. We have heard of our Smiley Cyrus uh, sister, sister, isn't it? D Miss Smoke. Luke. Doja Cat. I mean, it's a bit, it's a bit new artist. Well, they have been new. She feels like she's been out for like six years. Well, she has been out for a really long time, but I think she started making noise, like a, like serious noise. When did like they? A few, like the, two years, two two years ago, three years ago, maybe less. When did the cow song? <laughs> like three years ago, I think. 
Yeah, she's so famous. She's, yeah. she's amazing. <laughs> yeah, Doja Cat is class. I, 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 I would have liked Doja to take to take that. that I would not been... have been mad if she would have won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would have she, liked her. She's today. dope. I've always liked her. Then K Trinada, not very familiar. And then obviously the winner was Megan Thee. Nice. Uh, she's well, also she, cool. I also like what she, she does. She did probably have the biggest year. I think so there. too. And she, she, she made the biggest moves. In, in terms of of, uh, of uh, collaborations and stuff. Oh, too. and she was definitely very relevant as well. You yeah, know? yeah, so, yeah. Anyways, pop vocal, uh, best pop vocal album. Oh, okay. Fuck, best pop vocal album. That's Ariana Grande. Who but she didn't, she didn't release an album last year. Who would have won best... Best pop vocal album. Oh my God, that's a hard one. Vocal album. I mean... Like, obviously, BTS comes to mind. Yes! Mama Moo comes to mind. Mama Moo comes to mind as well. Mm. He from, from America. Um... So, Harry Styles comes to mind. I think he's very vocal. That's uh, true. Very vocally inclined. So the, the, but was... he didn't release that. Last... Did he he release did, of course. It? He did release last year. Watermelon Sugar High was like last year, which means that Fine Lines was last year. I thought that wasn't 2019, but oh, maybe fuck. I'm tripping. Well, no, it was. Fine lines. It was oh, nominated. It yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, changes Justin Bieber, Chromatica or oh, Chromatica. Chromatica, yes. For, that album was a masterpiece. I, wow, how amazing that is for Dua Lipa. She won. Oh, wow. That's she brilliant. won best vocal album. Fine, fine line, Harry Styles, Styles yeah, and, Folklore. and Folklore. Folklore is actually a great album. I, I actually you. really like that album. I enjoy that album a lot. And so I, I actually... That's a rough one, dude. The, I... Between Lady Gaga, Harry Styles, and Taylor Swift. That's tough. That's very, very difficult. Well done to Dua Lipa. He, that's really, really hard competition. But he, that's a good point, right? You can you can take it off just for a second, Father. This this is a good point, right? Of what the Grammys is. Like, that doesn't mean because Changes or Chromatica or Fine Line of Folklore didn't win. Didn't win. Doesn't that make they, him bad. Or that, or that they're not Relevant one of enough. the best. Exactly. No, no. Or if not the best album yeah. of the year. Yes. It's just, I don't know what it comes down to. I don't know if there's like, I guess they're saying it's politics is involved, but I don't know if there's like, um, you know, obviously opinions of experts in the industry and then public public uh, 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 opinion, too. opinion as well. But Say at the end of the day, I, I, I look at the Grammys and award shows like this and I, and I always ask myself, like, how much does it matter to me, right? And that's not a, that's not a fair question. The, I think the question is actually, how much does it matter to the artist? Uh-huh. You agree. know, like, how much how does it would mean, it mean? How much means to them? Some of these guys have these dreams. Like, I want to have a Grammy. Yeah, I mean, yeah. BTS comes to mind. Sugar, right? That was like his, well, that's one of his biggest dreams. I want to win a Grammy. And it's like, so when, it, when, it, when you look at it in that perspective, it's like, yes, obviously, it does matter. Yes. It's a huge achievement. But that, that shouldn't be the ultimate, I feel, anyways. That shouldn't be the ultimate... Judge, judgment of how good a piece of art was. I totally agree with that. I agree with that. That's like judging uh, music by how many views or how many streams it's, it's got. That doesn't actually prove whether it's good or not. Especially now in the mm -hmm. online era, mm -hmm. right? Where BTS is the biggest... If I mean, I don't want to make it too BTS-focused. I, I think they're obviously one of the hot topics of the Grammy, so it's impossible to mention them. But Not to mention Not to mention them, mm -hmm. but... It, they're the biggest boy band. I mean, they're just the biggest band. Yes. Right, ever, and also right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so it's hard not to think, why wouldn't they win if it's based on numbers? So then that's when you notice it's like, and then and I'd love to see, like, how many sales did, for example, Changes yeah. do? How many sales did Chromatica do? I how was going to say, I just don't, I just don't, uh, I'm, I'm just lost in the criteria of, like, how winning in, in, such in a war show. Such, 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 criteria of Grammys. I want to see what they're based on. Yeah, because I'm a bit lost. And there's also, I'm sure, people were asking me a lot of questions about it, like if I knew, but I, I really don't know how they base this stuff because I've never watched it. Where, oops, true. Grammy true. criteria. Winning criteria. Winning. winning criteria. There you go. Yes, this, is, this is a hard word to explain. Have. Go up. So the Grammys voted... Voting process is completely ridiculous by Vox. Yeah, go for it, Paul. Yeah, yeah. 
Having six credits on commercially released tracks currently available for sale and distributed through physical distribution outlets such as record stores with at least one track in the past five years have won a Grammy before. Get an endorsement from a current god. Press play. Press so play. Press, uh, click on it. So you must have, there are four, go up. Wait, wait. Up. Who, vo up. Who votes on the nominations and awards? Only recording Academy voting members vote on Grammy winners. The okay. Academy flaunts the fact that the voting committee committees are made up of jury of musician peers. So it's, it's that saying of music for musicians. Absolutely, I agree with that. Uh, what that means is practically is that musicians, engineers, lyricists, producers, and line note writers can all apply to vote, but it's not the public. Okay. Uh, there are four ways to become eligible to vote for a Grammy, for Grammy winners. One, have been credited with 12 physical or digital track released online only and currently available for purchase with at least one track in the past five years. Okay. Have six credits on commercially released tracks currently available for sale and distributed through physical distribution outlets such as a record stores with at least one track in the past five years. Have won a Grammy before. Fucking hell. Okay. The reason, an, why, the reason why it becomes a bit cyclical sometimes you see a lot of the same people a lot of few you feel? years. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah, of get an endorsement from a current board. I want to see. I see. Can I, then I'd so, love, to, I'd like love to be able to vote. Like a sponsor type thing. I mean, we don't know anyone. <laughs> like, <laughs> but I'd love to be able to let's vote. Let's make friends with people instead of the Grammy voting <laughs> thingy. After a person has met one of these requirements, she can apply and they have to pay $100 a year and vote for the Grammys. Voting members are asked to vote in only nine genre categories. Oh, no. These are the people that can vote. This, this, this criteria fits to the people that can vote. Yeah. That are voting. Oh, I thought that's what you you would be required to win a Grammy. No, no, this ah. is to so rule that vote. I see. Okay, the, what, I was lost. Only, only a committee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Uh, of uh, juries of musician peers are allowed to vote. I see. So you have to be able, to, in order to to apply to vote mm -hmm. and then be approved, you have to have these requirements, and then okay. go down and then let's see on what they actually. So those self-elected voters decide whether I get nominated. Not really. To the Grammys credit, the committee has some value. It was established in Lionel's riches. Can't slow down when up. Go down. This is interesting. Yeah. Notably. Let you see. Let God, those are attractive ladies. Yeah, this is Destiny's Child. Oh. Yes, Beyonce. Freaking fire. Do I have a better chance of getting nominated with a genre? With a genre song. The award shows. Who decides whether my album is really a genre album? Oh, yeah, that's also another thing, right? That's also a good point. All right, so that's interesting about K-pop then. Right, because a lot of K-pop albums seem to be seem to have different genres. Yeah. Right. So then, they wouldn't even count. Is that what that means? Oh. So, for example, no, I thought, they would count as they they will go down in the category as K-pop. But there's no K-pop category. Yes, they can. There is. I, is I, I, I search, Yeah, search it up. So who the hell won the K-pop category? Oh, uh, well, here, here's the thing. Wait, let me show you. Let me show you. And on the Grammys, um. So we just keep going down the list. Yeah, on the Grammys, on the Grammys. Um, Grammy K-pop award. Or, or K-pop no, 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 2021. No. Here, they they had at the beginning. It says, it says who, what, what are the the genres that they acknowledge? Okay. Eighty three categories. They have the general field. Pull that out further. Thank you, Papita. Go down. So you got general feel pop electro music. Yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah. Go down. Yeah, what's K-pop? Oh yeah, they have no, they, they have no K-pop. That's not eighty three genres though. No, that's not. That's barely fifteen. Music genres up here. Rap, rock, country, R and B, pop. So not n n no no. Yeah, because I think they would just qualify as pop. Mo okay, so they will Which I, I like. Top. Okay. I like that. Or dance electronic or rock, whatever. It doesn't matter where you're from, right? That's the whole point of this. Mm. Right? But it has American roots as a, as a genre and they got Latin, so why isn't K pop? Oh, fuck. That's a good point. I, I don't get that. So if we're already. So could a French artist, like for example, could, could like uh, Aya Nakamura win a she would She would be under what? Under pop, RB? I don't know. But you got, like, it, it spoken word. Is it Afro music there, maybe? No. But there's Latin. But there's Latin, and there's oh. and there's a um, American roots. So there, there, and reggae. So you got little like 
really specific genres added to the thing. So they're not as generalized as saying pop or saying, oh, this is just So, rock, for example, if it was just pop, whatever. that means you have to put Brazilian funk in there. Exactly. Which, but Brazilian funk actually doesn't count as pop. It count as Latin. Latin. Did Anita win anything? I don't know. No well, imagine she did, right? I have no clue, dude. I don't even okay, know. Let's, let's keep going. I, again, please do feel free to comment. So many and, questions. And uh, I wish this was live. We are getting the equipment to be able to do this live. So then we can have the live chat going on and stuff like that. Uh, but this is, I, I think this is why I enjoy the podcast so much is because it's, it's a learning experience for me. And I, mean, I don't know if for it's a learning too, experience for definitely. you, but it's certainly one for me. And when I, then when we post it and then when we read the comments, it's always so amazing and lovely to sort it's of learn. It's a learning and, curve, yeah. And it's actually unbelievable at the amount of people that, like, it, it seems to turn into like a conversation in the comments. Yeah. It's like, oh, actually, no, I, I think it's more like this or no, mate, I, well, this in the like recent evidence of this, it's awesome. So do feel free to drop us links or maybe uh, uh, enlighten us with knowledge. And I'm sure someone else would also learn through it um, but yeah let's let's keep going so best r&b performance oh this is this is interesting lightning and thunder by jenny Aiko featuring john legend that was good you know which i think yeah i would have liked that to win the all i need jacob collier and ty dollar sign Ma- mahalia or yeah, mahalia yeah, Mah- mahalia apologies i don't know how to pronounce it i love that that was amazing and the music video was fantastic Brilliant. It's so trippy it's fun Fantastic. I think jo- again, Jacob Collier is amazing. He's such a wonderful composer. And then you, you, you like collaborate with people that are oh, just right. as cool. The Black Parade one by Beyonce. That was I mean, just <laughs> bloody <laughs> out of this yeah. world. Yeah, I could have seen that coming from miles away. To uh, anyway, so yeah. then best rap song, the bigger picture. Lee Baby, I really enjoyed that project. The the box, laugh now, cry later, Drek. Um <laughs> Rockstar with the baby. Savage, which was Beyonce. Oh, right, yeah. This is Megan Thee Stallion's and uh, Beyonce collab. Oh, yes, yes. Makes sense, having that Megan, Megan one. Again, I could have seen that one a mile away. I, I see, seen, yeah, yeah, if I you win one, that winning. doesn't it make you more likely to also win other things? Because yeah, most likely, you but... You were the most popular, but it's not popularity. But it's not popularity. It's popularity. Yeah, 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 it's voting. Fuck. Again, it comes down to popularity, I guess, in, in so between confusing. between the music industry and inside the music industry. It's just wild. I guess this is a good podcast for like, how do people understand that don't know anything about <laughs> the Grammys? The title of this podcast will be How to Get Dummies <laughs> to, to Understand, understand the, the Grammys. Grammys. I still don't get it. <laughs> Conclusion, don't get it. Best, and I have not, look, like, it's not like I hate the Grammys. I've never, I think a lot of you guys know this by now. I don't watch award shows and I'm not a big believer in them. I, I'm actually not a big fan of the whole like, You'd have to dress up and everyone's perfect. And, and this this whole thing is like a facade. Mm. And you have to behave a certain way. And you can't say specific stuff. And there is like a sort of like a structure agenda behind everything. And you're like, mm. oh, fuck. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. It's, it's strange. But I'll it's also a privilege that... and an a awesome pleasure to be there. So it's like... It's it's an honor. It's a great honor. An honor, right? Yeah. So, but I, I, I don't know. The Grammys are not as strict in the in in their in the rules per se of behaving like they are on on like the academy awards like the oscars just a bit more like like that's really up like uptight <laughs> i don't know how to say it's unlikely really, i'll be there ever <laughs> it's, it's a bit more rigid i would think it's it's more um yeah less flexible but it like wouldn't allow you to take your shoes off yeah, exactly. But in the Grammys, you even have more more uh, freedom when it comes to like clothing and and because you're talking about musicians, so they're a bit more expressive with with their stuff. Um, but yeah, I I feel like well, imagine actors were like that as well. No, but actors when it comes to I don't know why, but in the Oscars is definitely Very. way more formal. Is like a definite um, um, behavior like agenda you got to like right. live up to. Anyway, so best pop solo performance, Yummy, Say So, Doja Cat, obviously Justin Bieber, Yummy. Everything I Wanted, Billie Eilish, Don't Start Now, Dua Lipa. So Dua Lipa, a lot of nominations. Also... Watermelon Sugar, huh? I think everyone was very happy that that one. <laughs> yes. Cardigan by Taylor Swift is a great oh, song. Oh, so great. And the music video is beautiful. I actually like that. But I'm, I, I agree with that. I think I fine. think, yes, I like that. No I, stress. Again, very tough competition in that category. And I also is, think is, is probably tough. most people agreed with that. Yes. You know? Then it just matter. That's the thing. It's like why? What does it matter anyways? Anyways, but <laughs> best because maybe I like Cardigan better. Yeah. Does that mean Watermelon Sugar is high shit? No. 
Here, here's what I don't understand about the whole 83 genres and categories. That's the song, actually. Love them. Because, on pack. because <laughs> then we got best melodic rap performance. Right. Best melodic rap. Absolutely. Wouldn't that count as rap? No. It doesn't. Because well, it's it like rap. melodic rap. So it's like sing-songy more stuff. Or who Let's, decides what's what. Exactly. That's what, I, that's what mm. I mean. But the people who vote are probably the ones who probably wrote what was going where. I see. At, at the beginning, I suppose. When they decided... Here's, here's something I, I'm, I'm noticing where. here, right? It's like, why... Yeah, it's, it's just a bit rough to understand why there aren't any other international artists in this list. I totally agree when with that. They pulled similar numbers. Yes. You know? Fantastic. Like, I'm, I'm not saying just like, oh, you know, like, uh, add everyone. No, but I'm just saying, like, they were awesome. You broadened your horizons. <laughs> Like, it, it's not just that industry. It's not just American. So many, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. I totally agree with but that. But they do acknowledge them. Because there's Latin, and uh, then there's, like, uh, uh, reg uh, reggae, right? So it's like, I don't know. I don't understand. Maybe, and again, maybe they're evolving as it goes. Like I maybe think so, too. Five I years from so now, too. they would have, like, I don't know. I mean, la Latin, la Latin music wasn't included in the Grammys. Sorry, until nominations like, for everyone. Yeah, f for a while. And then they had Latin Grammy Awards because the the Latin music uh, still industry was yeah still a thing, uh, but uh, are they still a thing? Yeah. So 100%. why do they? Why would you get a Grammy in a Latin section here then? Can you I get think double. It's, <laughs> I think it's based on like um, sales in America, perhaps. What the Latin one? No, no, no. The Grammys overall. No, you're saying we just find out it isn't. See, I don't understand that. I'm it's like. It's like, you know, when um, you watch a movie and you have like the reviews out. Yes. So the critics' opinions. Mm -hmm. It's not sales because they haven't sold yet. Yeah. The critic reviews come out first. So in, in, in the... In music, it's kind of the same, right? You yes. have critics and yes. you have uh, reviewers. So basically, you could I have... I guess we would count as reviewers. So basically, you could have artists from all around the world for that matter. What do you mean? Nominated, I mean. Yeah, I'd imagine you could. It doesn't have to do with numbers, then. That's what I mean. So then why I'd don't imagine we get... Imagine it has to do with numbers as well, right? Because it's so, like all, uh, these, all these people are huge. Yeah, but why don't we get, like, a similar popularity on, on music and sales? And why don't we get, like, more internationals? I don't know. I don't understand. Me neither. I don't, That's I, I, weird. I'm trying to wrap my head around it as we go. Uh, anyways, yeah. Best Melodic Rap, uh, Rockstar, The Baby, Rhoda Rich. Best Melodic Rap. I guess Rhoda Rich is more of a melodic rapper to some extent. Laugh Now, Cry Later, I would Definitely. consider Drake as a as mm -hmm. a melodic rapper. And there's Unpack. Glad he won, actually. Definitely. Very good. Actually, very happy he won. That's awesome. Ah, yes. The Box, Rhoda Rich. Uh, oh, a double nomination. Nice. Highest, Highest in, in the, the room, room, Travis Scott. I would have liked it if they would have done the remix instead. With, with Rosalia, Rosalia and Lil Baby. Yes. It was a better song like that, I think. I, I know. Heads in the Room was a great song on its own. Actually, the music video was fantastic. Well, that's why well. I said better. I didn't say it was bad. I just said, no. I think <laughs> Rosalia had such a great feel there and Lil Baby did his thing. Anyways, yeah. best Latin pop or urban album? A Bad Bunny one. Uh, but And then the, the nominations were... Camilo. Ah, cool. Wow, Camilo was making so much noise. Camilo's awesome. Kanye Garcia and Ricky Martin and Debbie Nova. It's crazy, isn't That's it? Ricky Martin awesome. is still kicking ass. Ricky Martin will forever be kicking ass. Yeah. <laughs> like, since he was 12 until he dies. But why do I consider that he's kicking ass? Because he's nominated for a Grammy. You see my point? He was kick like say he wasn't nominated. That still means he's kicking ass. Absolutely, I agree. Like Daddy Yankee isn't here. He's still kicking ass. Maybe he will come up. I'd imagine he would come up, right? He would have to. He's anyway. urban or pop. Oh yeah. Latin. Oh. See, like how I don't get it. J Balvin's not there either, no. Yeah. J Balvin, yeah. Maluma's but, not there. Oh yeah. That's Weird. Tough. Maybe they didn't have the biggest year. But last then year. Bad Bunny did kick butts. Last year specifically. Yes. Yo yes. perreo solo. <laughs> Uh, uh, best country album, Ladylike. I literally I don't know any country. Apologies. Um, from country music. Actually, okay. that would be an interesting experience on the channel. If you'd like us to check out country music, absolutely do let us know. And let's let's I'll be fun podcast. Uh, last week we did an Afro music podcast, which is one of my favorite podcasts actually. So if you haven't seen it, do check it out. It's amazing. Yep. There's so many artists there. We have Cameroonian artists, South African artists, uh, Nigerian artists, Niger a lot yeah. of Nigerian artists, South African artists. You said that. Yeah, we we had a from the east who did we have from the east Kenya 
it was a Kenyan artist. Yes, right? we, we had Kenyan artists. artists. So it was awesome, man. So do let us know. You know, do check it out. It's awesome. It, it great really artist to, yes. to to find out. Um, yeah, I apologies. I don't know any of these. Best country song again. I don't know any of these. The best country duo: Justin Bieber with Dan and 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 Shay oh, One with Ten Thousand Hours. Yes, that was that was great. I like that. I didn't know they counted as Dan and Shay counted as country. Because they they are a country, country artist. Artists, okay. artists, yeah. Best rock Let, album. Oh, let's see. Uh, a hero's death. I'm don't listen to any. Uh, Michael Kiwanuka. He was nominated. That's amazing. I didn't know he was nominated. Isn't he from England? Yes, he's from London. He's Isn't he actually from, from around here? No, he's from London. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if he's from around here. But Michael Kiwanuka is like the, his album. Kiwanuka is fantastic. I listen to it so often when I'm working. It's great. The vocal layers, the funk. They it's just great. There's a, like a tint of gospel with funk and and. I actually and think he grew pop. up where we live, Bali. He did. Yeah. Oh my god, that is so random. I didn't know that. Love. Cool. Yeah. I'm so happy for him. I really like his stuff. My Kiwanuka. I love his stuff. Yeah, he went to Westminster University. Yeah, fuck you know. He's like near. Well, near us. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. That's really cool. <laughs> But anyway, so in the corner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Round from us. That's. I'll tell you later, but you won't believe it. Like, it's actually very far. It's, it's not far at all. It's like 20 minutes. Oh well, wow, cool. Yes, but it, um, the what the album that won was New Abnormal, The Strokes, also fantastic. Nice. Best. If you haven't listened to it, go. It's I don't good. listen to rock. Another uh, genre that I'm more than happy to listen to now. I used to listen to it when I was a kid. Howard. Uh, best rock song, Stay High, Brittany Howard, Brittany Howard. Uh, best rock performance. Fiona and Apple still making music? How cool. That's awesome. Anyways, best She rock. She was pro- huge in the 90s or like early 2000s. Nice. Best rock performance, Shamika, Fiona, Fiona Apple. Apple. There you go. Also, yes. she won. That's great. That's awesome. Good for her. I need to see that. I, I haven't seen that. Best rap album. Album, sorry. Best rap album. Okay, we had This Smoke. Uh, Alfredo, we have Freddie Gibbs and the Alchemist. Mm-hmm. Uh, a written testimony, J Electronica, uh, King's Disease. Nice, that's great. Uh, the Allegory is a great album by Roaster Five Nine. I mean, I think everyone knows I love him. He is amazing. What what rap? He's so he is. lyrical. He's pretty fire. I would have liked him to win. I don't think he's ever won a Grammy. So no? I don't think so. Wow, he's a goat though. It's awesome to see him nominated. I don't think he's ever won a Grammy. Royce, the Five, five Nine. nine. Has won a Grammy? Question. Question? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. So he, he's only been nominated. His I... first first time being nominated. Oh wow! Class. Cool. That's amazing. Then best rap performance we have Megan Thee Star Savage. Okay. Oh um, look, Big Sean featuring Nipsey Hussle with uh, Deep R- Reverence. Reverence. Yeah, awesome. that was really cool. I like. Wow, that. what's popping? Got nominated. Jack Harlow. That's yeah, funny. that's cool. He's dope too. He's so funny. He's awesome. He's so funny. The All Pop Smoke is good to see him there. Rest in peace. Uh, oh, that's cool, dude. Best pop duo group But, performance. Yeah, obviously Beyonce's uh, Megan Thee. So it's so freaking mm-hmm. big. I have to be honest. Dua Lipa did have a fucking ginormous year, uh, year last year in terms of collaborations and the Latin influence and also Good West, point. West Market. She did, yes, indeed. She did the J Balvin, yeah, with Bad Bunny. That's true. It's one of the best songs. And then, and Taini, yes. obviously, this is the one where best pop duo group performance. Uh, Intentions, Justin Bieber and Quavo got nominated. Dynamite, Dynamite BTS. BTS. Uh, Rain on Me, Lady Gaga, Ariana Grande, Exile, mm. Taylor Swift, oh, and Bon Iver. Exile. What song is that? Oh, it's yeah, it's it's in the is in the uh, newest Taylor Swift album. You know that it was very indie. That and Bon Iver is very experimental. Yeah, I He's heard the amazing. whole album. I can't remember that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably it's fantastic. It's right. one of my favorite. I love Bon Iver naturally. So He's is this like, the only category where uh, BTS, BTS was nominated? Dominate? I have no idea. Okay, so let's let's presume. Okay, so obviously they didn't win. Yes. But yeah. why wouldn't they? Let's give let's give us a thought, right? Rain on the uh, on. Me. That's what I mean. If it's numbers, if it's numbers, I want to check that out. But search that up. Search up, like, let's base it. I mean, views is in the ultimate thing. I, I'm gonna search up this. Rain it, on me. Sales. Sales. We obviously know it's not just in sales. Worldwide but, sales. But I'd imagine that, that matters. Rain on me. Did. I don't know. I don't know how many. Five hundred fifteen thousand. Where does it say that? Uh, here. Just said it here. Uh, 
with 515,000 chart sales. Okay. Okay, during that three month period. Okay, let's All let's right, let's yes, utilize yes, three BTS, month period. Yes, BTS. I mean, I know for a fact they know, can kick the they, ass out they of that. Kill, yeah. Uh, Just think, worldwide. they're the most awarded uh, song, aren't they? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Worldwide. Let's try to see this. U.S. chart with 67.4 million streams and 18,000 downloads sold in territories outside the U.S. in its third week. Okay, that's quick. They literally kicked butts. <laughs> doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make Dynamite any sense. reached number one on the global 200 charts with 92.1 million global streams and 58,000 global downloads sold. It's so interesting, isn't it? How downloads are no longer yeah. the thing. Before, that used to be the thing, right? Yep. Now it streams. Uh, God, I got scared by my own sock. <laughs> I looked at my sock and what did it fall? And it was just my foot doing this. You are so strange. <laughs> by his own tail <laughs> becoming the best the most streamed and most sold song globally, globally. so uh explain this to me how are we like so if but that has to count for something that's just it my must question do. that must because if it's the most popular song <gasps> worldwide yes it's infuriating i understand why people are going nuts <laughs> wouldn't it make sense for that one to be the one that wins out of everything else but I guess it's like also, I think we're here, we're also seeing how influential and how groundbreaking this... What do you mean? <laughs> People that didn't know BTS now know BTS because of Dynamite. I agree with that. The, the, like the whole Michael Jackson-esque vibe. People were like, holy shit, the what is this guy? The whole English lyrics. It you was know, so international, so accessible. Obviously proven by the fact of how many sales they've gotten. How? <laughs> Explain it's, it it's to hard, me. It's hard to understand, right? And and then here... It is. And I found, I, I, I've, I've, this is why I thought it was important, especially this bit. This is the bit that I've been thinking most about. Yes. So probably the one that have the most concrete argument out of anything, because I don't have any concrete arguments in the whole about Grammys anything. thing. <laughs> no, especially the Grammys. Not yeah. about anything. <laughs> like milky shit. That's a concrete argument. But this one is, is sort of like... Um, so people have looked at it in this perspective, right? Which is kind of the same perspective which we're, we're, we're kind of understanding right now. Why aren't there international artists there? Asia alone is such an enormous market, right? Why aren't there any Korean artists? Why aren't there any a a Indonesian artists? Why aren't there any Filipino artists uh, that are generating great numbers? Yeah. But then it becomes more specific with Korean artists because they're the only ones pulling this amount of numbers worldwide i agree uniquely and it, and it, it like the level of production and everything and it's internationally is huge it's jamongous sure it doesn't matter because they're the most popular so that that must account for something like bts is again the most popular band in the world right so how come they didn't win the grammys for best pop group performance like and, and another question is why aren't there the other bands there right like Blackpink, let's say they also. They, they, I mean, they, if it's numbers like and also influence and relevance, they should be there. And they had an amazing collaboration with Selena Gomez, and, and they could have gone Cardi in there. And Cardi B, I mean, Cardi B. I mean, come on, they could. They had the names. So they, there's these questions, right? And, and yes. then the the argument that people sort of throw at me is not throw at me. They kind of we, we we speak in texts. It's like okay, maybe is uh, most artists here are sort of a from the US. Um, there haven't been any like Asian winners, or maybe there haven't been any like uh, African, just like of a actually uh, Afro uh, uh, music winners, or any European winners. In, uh, exclude London, exclude, exclude England, sorry, England. or the UK. Yeah. Um, and not descendancy. Let's not uh, let's not introduce descendancy because then there's a huge because like for example, her one and she her Filipino. It's half right? Filipino, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she was born in America. And raised up in America, so, and and his, she would be part of the American uh, music scene, music scene, right? Mm -hmm. So that's an interesting conversation also to, also to have, right? But I think it's a, a, a different, like a completely different, different topic. Out of topic. So yeah. the question is, why aren't there international artists? That's ultimately the question, right? Is it part of some sort of like uh, agenda? Is it part of we don't want to promote these? Is it part of this kind of conversation starts yes. backing up because questions rise up, right? Because it's like, what the fuck? Why? It doesn't make any sense. Now, my my opinion and my sort of argument on this is, I don't think it fucking matters. I don't think it matters either. But it does it does raise questions though, and it, it does make you wonder how do these things go about? Yes. Like, and why does it? Why is it like the inside of the music industry? Like, because is this based on votes by reviewers and critiques of music musicians themselves? How 
how are we weighing down on on this type of votes? Like, I think I think it comes down to how much influence and power do you give to the Grammys, and I think right now in the position, like for example, let's use BTS as an example. The world is this, yeah. It doesn't really. They probably have the most influence in the world, but that's why it's important what I brought up. So it that's what I feel. It shouldn't matter. I think it's been made a big deal because of the opinion of of obviously a, a, a sugar is someone who wants wanted for the band yeah. to win the Grammy. So then it matters, right? Yes. Because it's their goal, and who am I to judge what their goal no, should no, be? No, absolutely. But at the same time. He probably nailed. He probably hit the nail on the head when he said, "We'll work harder, and hopefully we'll get it next year." He said something like that on Twitter, right? Yeah, he said. He said, "Oh, thank you all, but we'll work harder." Good. Yeah, Take it on the chin. Like yeah, Move yeah, yeah. on, right? Because then, if you start looking at details, and and especially as an artist, I think athletes are also like this. Where it's like, "Why didn't I win? Or why didn't I do that? So like, why didn't I win the Ballon d'Or when you're a football and stuff like that?" But it's like, take it on the chin and move on. And, and yeah, just keep that, making great music. Exactly, you use that to to keep building. Because I ultimately, if this is the if it is true and Grammys is big bad, right? I think what which I don't BTS, actually think I don't it know. Is. I, I I don't. I've never been there. I don't know anyone from there. Right? No, but I'm talking like common normal sure. people perspective. I don't think it's I f- that influential. I feel like what BTS is doing alone with the Grammy or without the Grammy or without the awards that they have, it's powerful and influential enough to bring especially like the her- their 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 uh, their heritage their motherland of korea and the culture and the language i sing i try to pretend like i sing the language you know what i mean i would like to to say something about the, the the Grammys. concept of the Grammys. yes yes please please do because it comes from the national academy of recording arts and science of the united states of America. True. Okay. Yeah, but they have international artists there. They have. I mean, like the U. You have UK artists there or Latin artists. They have that, but uh, the Academy of Musicians, Producers, Recording Engineer, and other musical professionals. And that's where the name comes from. Um, is from nineteen sixty one. Um, yes, yeah, from the USA. I mean, obviously. Sure, sure. So my my yeah. So the reason I'd imagine the reason why they added the Latin awards section of it is because Latin America, it's such a, a, a America and Latin so, America, are so especially now are intertwined. Yeah, yeah. You know. But then why do we have? That probably they will eventually in the future adapt. I'd imagine. Nationalize. I would think so. I think that also we got to take into consideration that the, the music industry moves so quickly. Yes, that's a good and point. It's it, it's so fast moving and and taking and the events in America are still happening. They absolutely. Happening abs- that's what I'm saying. Like the whole music industry globally mm-hmm. moves so fast and and it creates so so much uh influence through globally in, in the whole planet which which it makes you it makes you wonder okay so if you're you're talking about music overall how are we going to really it's a tough it's a tough it's a tough task for everybody that's inside the gram it's like how do we include everything that's happening because it happens so fast it, it it's even though it's a yearly thing in a year so many things happen like last year was one of those years where musically it, it was one of Lots the greatest of years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, right? They, re- they recognize achievements worldwide. worldwide. Yeah, yeah. I, I just I just believe that. But do they? Yeah, but I, I believe that yeah. they could have been more inclusion of international artists. Like, I, don't I, like, I don't even know if it's inclusion. I don't even know if it's inclusion. Like, I don't even know if the, the argument is diversity or, or inclusiveness. I think the argument is if it's the most popular thing worldwide, right? And it's obviously nominated, uh-huh. right? So it's already what, acknowledged. It's already acknowledged. Yes, yes, yes. Brilliant. What do you base the winners off of? That's kind of the question, right? Because yeah, I what, can make what the argument. Leads you, what leads you to vote towards something that is? Yeah, like it, it, le, le, I don't know. I don't think know. about it like this too. Like, and it's not like sore losers. It's not like uh, fans of BTS being sore losers. I don't mm-hmm. look at it like that. I look at it. It's an interesting topic to discuss because. Rain, is rain on me a more there are certain technicalities okay well he, here's my here's my argument is rain on me a more musically intricate song than dynamite 
I don't know. Most likely. I don't know. Yes, don't know. most likely no. They they might be on the same level of intricacy, musically speaking. So why why I, I think may one thing that I'd love to do maybe for for uh, one one thing I'd love to see for the Grammys is actually when they sit they should stream that shit when you they actually sit down and they start voting for stuff and how they analyze each song. I was gonna say I would love to talk to somebody who's part of the voting, voting committee yeah. a committee that they can part. actually they can actually. Sp- speak to a like it's actually or, or an interview when they actually openly speak about how how is it that the process yeah it. yeah how how does it actually work but because if i'm confused and i've watched the grammy since i was like five years old and i've never even questioned it before right like how come i'm pretty sure there must be another tons of other people that are just as confused <laughs> yeah. right? anyway, so i would pay money to watch that on netflix <laughs> let, let, let's let's keep going so Best R&B album. Uh, yay! Give me on got. Ephra. Sorry. Oh God damn. Give me on got nominated. I told you. Take time. It's great. It's fantastic Fucking album. <laughs> yes, it's great. It's fantastic. Really well done for getting nominated. It's top. And yeah, John, John Legend, Legend can won. take it any day. But I like John Legend. I love him. Yes. So I'm okay. Yeah, but it's not. I don't think it comes down to liking. I think it just comes down to like. I thought it was based off of sales. No, that's no. what I thought it was based it's off not. of. Now we know that it's not. Th- that's it's what probably it's a contributing yet. factor, would, but not as much as a contributing factor than we win. think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's just another factor. See, mm. it's complex, right? It is. It's so deep. It's a multivariate, m- m- multivariable equation of who the hell wins. Confused. And how? And how? Right? Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I'd love, dude. I'd love to bring someone on the podcast that actually votes. Or I just I just would love to see somebody talk about it somewhere. I don't even know if there is that type of content anywhere. Probably, but I just I need to find it. Yeah. I, I I need to clear up my head please, of this foggy Please, and do thoughts. share your thoughts in the comments. Yes, please How did do. you feel? What do you feel happens? What are your opinions? Mm. Doesn't matter. It's, it's I mean, everyone's sort of like everyone has their own sort of perspective on this. So I'd yes. love to hear what other takes are. Um, anyways, best progressive R&B album, right? So that's a category. A progressive in what sense? It's in experimental and different. So it's the new R&B sound that includes a lot of spacey, uh, like oh, free nationals, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. So it's it's they include a different different uh, uh, genres in in the, in the okay. still in the R&B Fine. feel to it. Uh, Chilombo, Janae Aiko. Uh, Aiko. Aiko, sorry. She's very pretty. She's gorgeous. Uh, I saw her in the, when she's like, she also hosting. Has a, she, she also doesn't age a day. She hasn't yeah, aged I don't think a day like, I don't think since, she, since like five, ten years ago. <laughs> she's not like, she looks like she's 20, but she's not 20. <laughs> no, 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 no. I on, know. on Godly Hour, that's awesome to see the ladies in there. Fantastic. Chloe and ha- uh, ha- Haley. I think that's it. Halle, Halle Berry. Halle. Halle. <laughs> yes, so that's how I have to think about it. Free Nationals Halle. with the yes. Free Nationals album. Uh, I'm so happy they got nominated. They're awesome. Fuck Your Feelings by Robert, Robert Glasper. Glasper. And It Is What It Is by Thundercat. Thundercat. Also a fantastic album. Such a good album. Totally worth watching. Every time I, I, every time I check see that out. name, it just reminds me of that. Uh, do you remember that comic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is, is it? I think it's Thundercats? Thundercats, right? Do you remember that, Father? Mm-hmm. It Thundercats, is Thundercats, right? yeah. I just, I just think of that. Anyways, best R&B song. Better than I imagined. This is uh, her. Ah, uh, oh, Better than okay. I, imagined. I can't remember that. I, I don't think I know that song. Black Parade. So so her took home two Grammys. Wow. That's amazing so far. Collide. Black Parade. This oh, is uh, interesting that Beyonce didn't win that one. That's that's cool. Um, do it, Chloe and Halle. 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 Slow down. Yeah, do it was good. So I wow. Got to do, her got do. nominated a lot. Oh my god, and her and Skip, Skip Marley. Marley. Skip yes. Marley's a boss. Slow down, girl, let me love you. <laughs> okay, the Such next one. Such a cool song. And her one with uh, Better Than I Imagine. Best Dude, tra- she, she just was winning left and right. Killing it, mate. Uh, best traditional R&B performance. Wow, it's great to see the ladies killing it. Chloe yeah, and Halle. Halle, yeah, um, fantastic. Sit on, sit on down. Uh, the Baylor Project, Let Me Go, Michael Kilgore, Anything For You, Ladisi, or Lit. The DC, right? That's the DC, I think. Yeah. Distance. distance. Yeba. 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 Right. Yeba. Best alternative album. Oh, yes. Let's see. Who's here? Fiona. Fiona Apple. Yay. I need to listen to the album. I actually haven't heard that album, but I love... Bruno Major got nominated. 
Shut up. I would totally cry for him. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany Howard, the slow rush. Tama Impala. Yeah, she was all over my YouTube. Mm, she's Is it great, she or though. him? I don't know. If someone, I, I remember recognizing her name. I've never heard of him. Uh, but I, I, I saw them. I saw that name all over my YouTube the other day, in like music recommendations. Maybe we should totally check I it think out. it's because you were using my YouTube music. Yeah, but I don't. I, it's a name that's familiar, but I don't actually have paid attention enough. But that's Best cool. music video. Oh, okay. Brown we're skin talking. girl, Beyonce. See, but here's where I ask. Yeah. This true. is a very general, a very big, broad category right yeah fuck yeah it's it's huge it's a huge category yeah lay lay win <laughs> exactly and how come we were like that's my question no no lay one <laughs> lay one without a doubt dude lay one <laughs> lay one we lay one yeah lay. Uh, i said it last year the best music video of last year was lay I agree with that. So you got Brown Skin Girl, Beyonce, Life is Good, Future and Drake, which was a great freaking video. Lockdown. Also, I adored that video. That video was good. The song was great. I love Anderson. It's a good song. L- adore uh, adore you. You. That's the one with the fish, right? Yes. Is that the one with the fish? Yes. Weird fish. It's a cute, it's a cute video. And then Goliath. Wicked. But Wicked. And then Brown Skin Girl by Beyonce won. Yes. But God. it's Beyonce. Does though. Beyonce get tired of winning? No, no, no. She's How many queen. Grammys does she have? She is the queen. That's unbelievable. She probably has a whole room filled with Grammys. Because that's the other thing, right? What if you agree with the winner? Does that mean you don't have a problem with the Grammys overall? Uh, no, that just means you agree with the Grammys and the committee. Your personal opinion agrees with it. I don't, it doesn't mean that you have a problem or don't. It's an interesting issue. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Psychologically speaking, I think fact. I haven't had enough time to think. Uh, Best contemporary Christian music album. Oh, you like this father? Way just Jesus is King by Kanye West. I actually think it's a great album. He also won the Billboards. Yeah, the, you the know the gospel awards. album that Kanye West made that mm-hmm. with all the whole gospel choir next to. I thought it was amazing. amazing. The, the gospel, the gospel hint and idea of it all. Now you may not be happy about this father, but it did beat Hillsong. <laughs> All That's, of my best friends. I'm actually quite glad that they got nominated as well. They they're really cool. They win often, man. They win stuff. Often. They win stuff often. I don't know. I don't know very familiar with Christian albums like awards. Yeah. But like they, in the billboards, they, they got nominated as well. They're huge. They 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 make money. Moves. They might be the biggest. Uh, yeah. One of their biggest like uh, Christian bands, right? Yeah, for sure. Uh, best song written for visual media. Oh. Oh, so yeah, as in like m- mov- movies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sound official soundtracks. Yes. So beautiful ghost from Cats and Andrew Lloyd Webber, Webber with Taylor Swift. That's crazy. They got to work together, right? I actually super jealous about that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when I saw that, when I saw the clips of them working together, I was like, oh my god, <laughs> to stand in his presence. <laughs> 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 Never mind. Um, I actually think this composition is wonderful in all one. its ways. Yeah, I haven't seen yeah, the how, movie. how it was written for the film. Because um, this, this I haven't one, seen the new one. This wasn't in the origin. This is not in the original score. This is written for the film, and it was wonderful. It's it, lyrically speaking, musically speaking, it's just beautiful. It fitted really well. Walucha played the uh, Grisabella. Was it Grisabella? Yeah. In Cats. Yes. In a play here in a. No, I can't say where. But, I mean, I can't say. London. It's in London. Just London. Off, Off West, West End. End. Yeah. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, carried me with you from onward. Actually, pretty cool. I. I didn't. Uh, this I. This is the Disney movie. It's on Disney Plus. You gotta watch it. It's hilarious. I really liked it. Um, I was kind of so like the emotional churn that I was going through <laughs> throughout the whole movie. But I was real stressed. <laughs> but uh, it has a wonderful resolution. The soundtracks of that was fantastic. Good, huh? Yeah. Then, um, uh, into the unknown. Into the unknown. Chris and Aurora. Anderson Lopez. It's crazy. And Aurora is part of that song, isn't it? Yes, I. Because it doesn't suit who she is. I think Brand, uh, I think uh, Kristen and, and Robert are just a beautiful duo of songwriting and lyricism. Are they brothers? No, they, they, yeah, they're, they're husband and wife. Husband and wife. Yeah, 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 they're married. They are so freaking gifted. Dude, they would write up a song today and then they would have like a, an, an online call with, with Disney headquarters and be like, actually, we want to change a little bit this. Three days later, they wrote a whole new song, right? Like with a completely different concept. They're they're fantastic. They're mad. Then um, uh, no time to die, which is the one that won with yes. James Bond. I mean, no one's seen that movie yet. Literally, <laughs> <laughs> I 
and he still won. But it is one of the best. I like it, I like how it fitted. It ju- it was just very. I don't James know how Bondy. it fits because no, no, I was no. in the movie. But with the concept of James Bond, it just it's just very James Bondy. Even if you didn't tell me it was for James Bond, I would have thought, oh, this fits James Bond. I'm just thinking, is it the best track on the? Of I really like a Delst one. Yeah, Skyfall's a joke. Let the sky fall. But the movie was also really good. I feel like the movie makes the song better. Absolutely, it's it's a Skyfall was a good song part. because also the movie was a fucking joke movie. Yeah, I think this is gonna be an amazing movie, but you know, I hope so, man. It will. They're be. introducing new characters and stuff. And it will be fun. This is the time where where Daniel it's new Craig evolution. steps yeah. away. So evolution. He's, he, <laughs> fight me, he's the best James Bond. Uh, stand up from Harriet. Oh, cool. Joshua Bryan Campbell and Cynthia. Cynthia Erivo. 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 Yeah. Erivo. Erivo. Anyways. Best score soundtrack. She sounds amazing. She's fantastic. The Joker. I don't think we can check everything, mate. It's 86 categories. Freaking hell. We'll Best go. music film. I want to know that. Lin- Linda. Blackest King for, for, I would think, for like... Uh... Beyonce. She didn't win, though. Linda Ronstolt for The Sound of My Voice. I haven't seen that movie. Ah. Oh, my God. Yes, I heard about it. Ooh. I haven't seen that either. Hey, Best like musical this. theater. No, let's go. Let's it. go. Let's go. Uh... Who won? Joked Little Pill. Jagged Little Pill. Jagged Little Pill. Catherine Gallagher. Ooh. Celia Rose Gooding. For the original Broadway cast. I want to say everyone's name. Go on. That is freaking cool. Oh my god. I Prince of Egypt got nominated. Oh, but Ephrat, the freaking Prince of Egypt musical is to die for. Like, oh my yeah, god. I heard you gush about it in your room while you were watching it. <laughs> <Just like, gasps> I, I, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it in, in, in on theater, but freaking hell, dude, I would totally pay all of... I would give an eyeball. <laughs> well, they, no one got to watch it in the theater. No, no one um, got to stream it. Right? I don't know how theater did they did. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know if online. they did. I don't know if they did. I'm oh, not right. sure. But, um, at, and there was then, I don't know. I have been off the loop with, with uh, yeah. musicals, so I... I don't really know, but yes, Stephen Schwartz and frigging, oh yeah, fantastic! I love it. It was great. I think fucking you know, hell. If we check every category, we're gonna be here till tomorrow. Man. Best comedy album. Tiffany Haddish made a comedy album. I don't know about that. Paper Tiger was nominated. Uh, best Let's global, global music, music album. album. Agora. Okay. Oh, okay, so that's global. Burner Boy one. Okay, he's an Afro. Uh, he's from Nigeria. He's from Nigeria. Yeah. So, okay, so that okay, so he won. Okay. So you got an Afro uh, a nomination there. You have Beth Dance Recording. Kali Uchis. Kali Uchis is so cool. I I, I don't I mean, know why I it took me nice. so long <laughs> to know who she was. But she is dope. I love her stuff. Uh, Best Dance Electronic Album. Baba. Don't Best know can- any... Contemporary Instrumental. Ooh, interesting. Live at the Royal Albert Hall. Live at- oh, Snarky Puppy. Let's go, Dad. Father Snarky, Snarky Puppy, Puppy won, won a, 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 Grammy a Grammy for Best Contemporary Instrumental Album. In their Life of the Royal Albert Hall. We missed that. We should have gone. Uh, I think we were there near the time it happened. Ah, uh, You should have bought tickets. It was cool. What is this? Best Instrument, Instrumental I mean, I'm not gonna Composition. Know anything, yeah. I don't know any best of that. Best New Age Album, More Guitar Stories, Jim Kimmel West. Best Gospel, Kanye won again. Most likely. Oh, no, a song, specific song. Moving on. Wonderful, it's your name. Okay. Oh, that's a really nice best names. gospel album. Well, because it's not gospel. Uh, best uh, roots gospel. gospel. T- PJ PJ Morton. Keep going down. Keep going down. Keep going down. Best box special. Oi oi. Best, best album best. notes. What? That's interesting. What does that even Best count historical for? album. I mean, props to all these people that won. It's unbelievable. That's best crazy. engineered. Okay, so this is going to get a bit more okay. technical. Best, best engineered non-classical. <laughs> that's all that's K that cannot believe that look at that Bali yes. best remix recording Roses a, a Imambek remix Ale. St. John's song yeah, yeah, he yeah. was like a guy from a, I've heard the story he was like a guy from a, Atlanta it's not Kyrgyzstan somewhere in a, a near Russia and uh, <laughs> yes. he just posted it on like SoundCloud or something like that and he went and he viral up and now he's, he's got, got a Grammy he's got a Grammy Beep. That is insane, what a story. And it went viral like on TikTok and everything. Everywhere is still so relevant. Uh, Bassie was uh, was, uh, nominated. 
best Latin rock. Go down, go down, go down. Where go down, is it? Ah, oh, here we go. La Conquista. Fito Paez. Paez. Fito Paez. Fito Paez. Best regional Mexican music album. Music also, they do specific Mexico stuff. Yeah, well, because well, the Mexican population is Mex so. is huge in, 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 in America. Best tropical Latin album. Oh, Cuar okay. 40 Grupo Nietzsche. Oh, genial. Wow. After so many years, it's still winning my Grammys. That's nuts. Ruiz, el Ruiz Señor. Oh, that's madness. Best uh, orchestra, orchestral performance. Okay. Down, 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 down. Best Off opera everyone. recording. Best Ooh, choral performance. Gershwin. Oh, Gershwin. That's really cool. Not that I know much of opera, but those names sound familiar. Well, Composers. What is down. this choral performance? Sorry. Yeah, mate. Best chamber music. Best classical, classical, best classical, classical contemporary, contemporary classical best American roots performance, John Prime, down, more John <gasps> best Prime. Best American song. Yeah, John Prime again. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, down, 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 down. Best folk, folk regional, reggae. reggae. See one reggae. Got to be tough. Toots and the Mytals. I'm glad Skip Marley got nominated. Yeah, best Skip Marley's cool. His al that, that album is awesome. Oh, he provides jazz, go down. Oh, blues, down, 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 down. Best, Best jazz, jazz vocals. Instrumental. Best rap album, August D. Best jazz Latin. Latin jazz orchestra. The Afro Latin Where? jazz orchestra. Nice. Oh, that's cool. That's a Dudamel one, didn't he? Dudamel? Yeah, uh, he won. I don't know why he won, but I know he won. He's from Venezuela. Oh, no person. way, he did. Yeah, he won it. Yeah. Freaking guacamoles. Uh, I forget his first name. Carotas. Uh, Anyways, Gustavo. Uh, Gustavo, Gustavo Dudamel. Dudamel. Yeah, he won. That's awesome. I don't know what he won. He won a Best Orchestra Performance of the Year, something like that. That's pretty cool. Producer of the Year, Non-Classical, Best Arrangement, Instrumental and Vocals, Down, Down. Best That's Contemporary. interesting. See, Jacob Collier won for Featuring that. Rhapsody. He won Hold You. Nice. That's cool. Best Contemporary Christian Song Performance. Anyways, there you go. I think that was it, yeah. Well. It gets wild, though. There are so many categories. Interesting, right? I'd love to hear how much is... You can take it off, mate. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, but it's so interested to see how people sort of, uh, yeah, what the, you know, the conversation that we're going to have now in the conversation is. And as this is probably one of the most interesting podcasts that I think to post. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, very interesting. I'd, I'd love to know everyone's opinions on this. I've been, uh, yeah, I've been working on like a, a bit of a review of Justin Bieber's new album. Um, and the, I was going to do track by track. Oh, yeah, the Ghost Generation special just went on. Um, I was going to do track by track. Like how we usually do reviews. But I was just listening to it, and then we also had we also checked out for the first time Peaches. Yes. Um, with Give You On and Daniel Caesar, which I think is one of the best songs of the year so far. Mm -hmm. Definitely one of the best collaborations of the year so far. Ah, and we're 100%. in the what the third month. It was beautiful. Um. Yeah, March isn't it? March yes. the nineteenth. Actually, on the twenty eighth is Walucha's birthday. It's my birthday. It's my. I birthday. think you know what we should do for the it, cooking it bastard. It's my birthday. For the cooking bastard. Mm -hmm. We'll celebrate your birthday as well in the stream. Perfect. Like cake or something. Yay! So I right, love everyone. that. Everybody can tune in for my birth. Well, a few days after my birthday. Yeah, because we we usually do it. We'll do it that week, obviously the live stream, because it's the last week of the month. Yeah, that we'll do it the last day of the month or last week of the month, uh, on a Sunday. Oh, um, that's cool. Actually, my birthday is on Sunday. Just really? A week. Yeah. 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 Oh, we'll just do it then. Then. Oh yeah. Oh my God, we're gonna be streaming on my birthday. Yeah, so I like that. We'll do we'll do we'll do a live stream on Valeska's uh, birthday for the cooking bastard, and we'll do uh yeah we'll just instead of Fisher Fighter Plus we we'll do cooking bastard we cook and stuff we we'll also have a cake as a backup for Valeska. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, yeah, so we actually get to enjoy something just in case the last cake we made was shit. It was terrible. Horrendous. Right? We had to throw it out. Oh shut up, mate! You, we we throw, throw it away. It we threw it out. <laughs> only only twenty percent. <laughs> 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 only twenty percent. Only eighty percent. I ate it all. <laughs> Stamp of approval, I guess. <laughs> I mean, thanks for making me feel better. But right. I know it was ass. No, it wasn't. It was so acidic and and like alcohol like. <laughs> Alcoholic. Anyways, but yeah, so I was I was working on sort of what I was gonna say for Justin Bieber's album and. Think, thinking about it now is Changes was an album in which it was good to see him put reps back in, right? Because that's the difficulty of making an album when you haven't made an album in a while. Lots of pressure and also you're rusty as hell. It's a thing. You're studio rusty, I guess. Mm. Especially when you take a break like he did. He's going to start doing an, a tour as well. He's preparing for a tour. Glad for him. And America is going back 
I mean, the UFC is having an event uh, with 15,000 people. So wow, they're, that's huge. They're, they're, I think we're slowly getting back now. I mean, that's very fast, actually. Uh, 15,000 people, just arenas, fights and stuff. So that's good. So I'd imagine a, a lot of American artists or a lot of US tours will be uh, back on. Yeah. Um, but Ch- Changes was good to see him back. The first half of that album was kind of like... Uh, the experience was repetitions, you know, the, the concept wasn't as clear. Lyrically, it was... More like it was kind of like it's a, a concept. It was just going through concepts and and finding something different, something which aligned with the whole changes thing. Right? Absolutely, great features. It's a lot of different stages. I think the later half of the album is it, it's where it really hit me, where I really enjoyed it. Um, with this album, I I I don't know yet. Maybe I have to listen to it again, but I didn't really get an experience yet from it. I did listen to it, not in a rush, but we were setting up stuff and. And maybe I didn't give it enough a fair shot yet. Mm-hmm. Um, but I have tracks that I enjoyed and I have tracks that I don't think I will listen to again. I see. Um, that doesn't mean they're bad tracks. I mean, I'm sure... May- That's the thing as well. When I listen to it, ch- ch- it changes and there were some songs that I didn't think I was going to play again. Yeah, progressively you, you got... yeah. Later on, I started basically on playing the whole album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I believe that I believe that that happens with a lot of albums actually where where you like your first impression isn't isn't like the t- ten songs out of ten will be like all yeah, in your it's, playlist it's sixteen yeah but but I, I believe that you know the more you get used to the songs the more you get used to the concept of the album the more the songs and and the everything in it kind of grows on you so yeah I feel like first impression of albums are actually quite kind of hard to give on like your your full honest opinion of what it is as an experience uh, as a listening experience but I thought it was mellow I thought it was nice I, I, it had really it had really good moments in that album Justice oh, they, they definitely had moments I mean Peaches is outstanding I, I loved it I think and and actually there were a few other songs that r- really resonated with me no, too, what in, I really in, in, in moments also the cover art is sick yeah uh I enjoyed a lot the intro too much. Mm-hmm. Great fucking intro. That's a good song. Yes. Off my face. It's a good song. It's very melodic. It's very enjoyable. And then uh, Die for You with Dominic Fike. I love Dominic Fike. Dominic Fike is awesome. I you know his his music is fantastic, and I I that's a great collaboration to to have. I'm, I'm glad for him. He's working with freaking Justin Bieber is huge. It, yeah, I think he's got fantastic uh, collaborations in this album too. I think. It's got oh, some yeah, pretty Kid, cool names. Kid, how happy would Juice well be for Kid Leroy, man? Like, oh, he would be so proud of him, for Kid sure. Kid Leroy's been making so many moves and having, you know, Juice has got like a mentor, stuff like that. It's, what, what a great path he's on. Kid Leroy is awesome. I've, I've always liked him from, since the first time I heard yeah, him. Yeah, Khalid, as I am, I actually, I don't think, I think that's one of those songs where maybe I have to listen to again. I liked it. I think it was nice. I think it was, like, again, it had really enjoyable moments and the whole listening experience. Lost by it. You with Burner Boy, which Burner Boy has his odd capability. Same <laughs> as Daniel Ziza. Just like making any song there. It's like, yeah, there as is... soon as they begin, it's like, okay. It's a this Born is how... Boy song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when Justin Bieber releases... Oh, it's, like, a, it's sorry, a Justin Bieber song. <laughs> returns. It's like, oh, it, this is a Justin track. It's, it's good. And then when Burner Boy comes in, it's like, how the hell did this turn into an Afro Bob hit? Literally, I you know, like that. That was same good. with Give You and Daniel Caesar. Like, how did this turn into a Give You EP? Or suddenly, like a Daniel Caesar thing, or it was just very distinct. That that collaboration is fire. I, it's awesome. It was a fantastic. I understand why we're pro- why they would be choosing that as the promotional track for it's the album. It's trending right now. Great. Hard that song that and the visit video. So I hope it does stay trending. It, it such an exciting year for as you guys could obviously tell. I'm a big fan of the Give You. Big fan of Daniel actually as well. Um, so very exciting and for what's Justin. in the future for yeah, absolutely. for Give You. Oh, I mean, yeah, everyone knows I like given. Justin, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. But like new artists, but he is new. Give You, like he's so new, so new. It's like a year and a half. Yes. You know, like a year and a half, a year ago, maybe yeah, a year and a bit ago, he just did the thing with Drake. Yeah. And that's where people found him out, and he's he had amazing. some good tracks before that, like a Garden of Roses or something like that. And he had some tracks out like like how I like I want you and favorite mistake and he had some projects I kept releasing. And then he makes the EP. Then he makes uh, uh, the album. Another no, he makes another EP, right? Okay. Where they had the Snow Allegra. Oh yes. Collaboration. I love Snow. And he has Snow. stuck on you and yeah. When it's time and now he kind of released the album. 
uh, where it's everything the together. Of everything, yeah. But Take Time was a great piece of work. It was the beach, mm-hmm. the, the world we created, the great songs. I Heartbreak Anniversary, obviously, is so iconic. It's fantastic. At this point. I think it's awesome. Like I said earlier, um, in 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 my in my in the review for for Peaches, I think he is the old rhythm and blues vocalist sound to the An new era well. to the new era of r&b which is so cool it's so refreshing and and so is like is decadent you know it's like rich and full and, and yeah it's just like it's, it's a whole sinful experience to it, listen to it. it's amazing thing, he has this thing with cars He's always it's in a cool. car, and he's always a specific type of it's model. Like like Cadillacs. <laughs> I don't know. I don't car. think they're I'm, Cadillacs. I'm a bit dumb when it comes to cars. Me I'm a bit too. dumb when it comes to a lot of stuff. <laughs> but but uh, the and I like that Justin actually accommodated to that aesthetic because he was the still, one driving. But still, it is still it was his aesthetic with this whole neon neon yeah 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 two thousands like what car fish is that? eye thing. Let I don't find know. out the car. Giveon, because they all look song. like Cadillacs. <laughs> car in uh, Peaches. In it's well, hold on, that makes sense. It's a yeah, it's the car he always uses. He always has the car. I don't know. What that, I don't know what that car it is. Somebody will might like let us know. I literally have no idea with cars and brands or like models. But yeah, it's really cool. I, I think he's, he's the coolest. And well, then you got Daniel Caesar, who's like... On top of the roof, with the roof, yeah, right? Yeah, so he's good. dope. It's cool. Well, anyway, um, yeah, do let us know what you thought about the Grammys and things like that. Uh, I think everyone's kind of had a time to think. And uh, we obviously have thought in public, which is always difficult to think as you go, you know. Um, but yeah, let us know what you thought about it. And also what other releases, if you know what releases are going to come up. Do, if, if you want us to check it out, do let us know. It always helps. Um, and don't forget to check out our official mer- merchandise that it's on sale worldwide. Chippin. Absolutely. Chippin. That's literally pinned on the down comment, comment below. Absolutely. Yeah, well, thanks for watching. Peace. Bye bye.